Should I spay or neuter my pet? I'm Dr. Sean McPeck. I am the owner and CEO of Tier 1 Vet Medical Center. This has evolved over time. We go back 20, 30 years. We even saw Bob Barker on The Price is Right saying, spay and neuter your pets, right? Bob Barker, you need to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Goodbye, everybody. What were they doing at a very young age? I mean, pets, you know, were eight weeks old and they're spaying and neutering them. What we found recently with some research is that spaying and neutering your dogs, specifically, the, the study dealt with dogs, especially larger dogs, we were actually causing orthopedic issues to develop later on in life. They were more prone to anterior cruciate ligament ruptures, uh, or a cranial cruciate ligament rupture, or CCL is what we call it in, in a dog. We were actually more prone, uh, that dog, to get some type of hip dysplasia, and that's because we were removing that normal sex hormone in the body at a very early age before their growth plates were able to close. And so the bones were not fully developed. The plateau of the tibia was not fully grown. The acetabulum, which is in the hip that covers that, that femoral head, was, was too shallow, it wasn't growing enough to cover it. So we were actually inducing orthopedic issues. And so what they found is that if you can wait until at least 15 months of age into some of the larger dogs, we can completely eliminate those orthopedic issues. So that's one big consideration that you need to take into when you're thinking about it. And that, that applied for both spaying and neutering. Another part of spaying was it the issue of dealing with mammary chain tumors. And if you go back and what we were taught is that if that dog went into that first heat cycle and, and, and it was much more prone to getting mammary chain tumors. If it went through two heat cycles, it was gonna get mammary chain cancer. And so they wanted you to spay that dog really early. Well, we found out that that is not true. And so again, uh, they benefit from having those normal sex hormones present in the body for at least 15 months. Now, here, here's the caveat to that, right? The reason we encourage spaying and neutering, one, we don't get unwanted pregnancies, right? We don't have stray animals uh, and unwanted uh, dogs or cats. Two, uh, specifically females, we're setting them up for having uh, what's called a pyometra. Dogs are very prone to getting a pyometra if they're left intact. That is a disease process that is 100% preventable by spaying your dog. The other thing that they are much more prone to if they are left intact their entire life is, yes, mammary chain cancer. So uh, there's some things with, with female dogs that we have to consider, the, but the unwanted pregnancy is a big one. Now let's look at the male dogs. Uh, so I talked about some of the benefits there, but some of the negatives are also behavior related. Intact males are more prone to guarding and aggression they're more prone to leaving to try to seek mating, uh, running away. Uh, they're more prone to marking uh, into, inside your house, uh, marking territory. And there can be issues with the body too. Testosterone 100% uh, drives prostate cancer, uh, prostatitis. Uh, obviously testicles being present, there can be testicular cancer. And then there's other hormone driven things that have to do with what we call anal sac adenal carcinomas and other hormone related issues. So it's, it's a balance that you have to look at and what you are, what is right for your life and lifestyle. There's no right answer. Um, I see Dogs live happy, healthy lives being intact, but there are risks to that. And the older the dog or cat gets, the, those problems are exacerbated. So there are benefits to it for sure, 100%. And there's, but there's benefits to waiting. Have that conversation with your doctor and see what fits right in your lifestyle and what is right for your, your pets and your family. If you found this video helpful, uh, please leave a comment. Uh, if there's something else that you would wish we would have talked about, uh, leave a comment and let us know. Uh, we read them. If you liked it, please leave a like on there and subscribe if you want to get future videos that have to deal with topics in veterinary medicine and uh, the, your pets at your home. Thanks.